Welcome guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to design a premium looking Shopify dropshipping store using Shopify free Dawn theme. I will show you step-by-step -step everything from scratch. This store design will be all device responsive. So without any more talking, let's just jump to start. As you can see, I am currently in the Shopify admin dashboard. Our first task will be to install the Shopify free Dawn theme and publish it. So to do this, click on the online store from the left side, then scroll down a bit, then add this Dawn theme. Then wait for a couple of seconds. Then click on this publish button. Then again, click this publish button to publish the theme. After publishing the theme, click on customize. First, we need to add the color scheme for the whole store. So to do this, click on the settings icon from the left side, then click on colors, then click on scheme one. First, we will change this background color. Background color will be black. Then change this text color. Text color will be white. Then change the solid button background color. Then change the solid button label color. Then change the outline button color. After completing that, then we have to change the store fonts for the whole store. So to this, click on this arrow button to go back. Then close this color tab and open this typography tab. First, we will change our whole store heading font. So click on this button, then click on this search bar and type here Montserrat and select this font. Same way, change the body font. Body font will be Poppings. After changing the heading font and body fonts, then click the Save button to save your changes. Shopify Free Dawn themes don't have this auto-scrolling announcement feature. This feature is only available in premium themes. But don't worry. This section can be created very easily using a small code, and I will give this code in my video description. You don't have to pay anything for this, you just have to copy the code and paste it where I'm going to show you. First click on this three dot icon. Then click on this edit code. After coming here you will see some folders and files open on the left side. First close all these files and folders. Then click on this section folder. Then click on add a new section. Then select on this liquid option and type here Marti. After typing the file name, then click on this done button. Then you will see some default codes here. First delete all these codes and paste here our new code. And that's the code that we will use for auto scrolling announcement text. Check out the video description and copy this code and go back to the previous tab and paste the code here. Then click on this save button. After saving your changes, close this section folder. Then click on this search filter and search here theme.liquid and click on this theme.liquid file. After opening this theme.liquid file, click on any empty space with your mouse. Then press Ctrl and F from your keyboard. Then search this code in this search bar. After searching this, text will be highlighted in front of you and will show in front of you. Then after this body text, type this code here. You will find all these codes in my video description, so you don't have to worry about the code. After type this code, then click on this save button to save your changes. So our work is done. Now we will add it from our theme customization. So to do this, click on this exit button, then click on customize, and this is our marquee text section. Before setup, first hide this default announcement bar. Now click on this arrow button, then click on this add text. After clicking on this add text, you will see our scrolling announcement text working. Now click this text button, then write your own announcement text here. After add your text here, then here you will get lots of icon. You can add any of this icon as per your requirements. If you want to show multiple announcement offer, then click on this three dot icon, then click duplicate. Then go back and click on this duplicated text. And same way, add your announcement text and icon here. After add your text and icon, then click on the save button to save your changes. First, we will add the logo and favicon for our store. So to do this, click on this setting icon, then click on the logo tab. And here we will upload our store logo and favicon. Then we will adjust the width of our logo. After adding your logo and favicon, don't forget to click on this save button to save your changes. Now we will change the default search icon. So do this, click on this exit button, then click on this three dot icon, then click on edit code, 
then close this all file and folders. Then click on search filter and search here header.liquid. Then click on this header.liquid file. After open this header liquid file, then click on any empty space with your mouse. Then press Ctrl and F from your keyboard. Then click on the search bar and search this code here. After searching this, this code will be highlighted in front of you. We will replace this code here. That's the code which we will use for change default search icon to modern search bar. First copy this code. Then go back to our previous tab and first we will delete this highlighted code. Then we will paste our new code here. After paste our new code, then we will click on this save button to save our changes. Then we will click on this preview button to see if our default search bar has changed. And yes, our default search bar has been successfully changed. Please let us know how you liked the video in the comment box. Since this is our new channel, subscribe to the channel and stay with us to get such helpful videos for free. Now we will add hero banner section. So to do this, click on this add section and then add this image banner. First delete this featured collection. Now we will customize image banner section. First delete this image banner text. Also delete on this paragraph text. Now click this image banner and open it. Here we will upload our store hero banner. After add your hero banner, then click on this banner height and select this adapt to first image. Then change this desktop content position. Desktop content position will be bottom left, then go back and click this button. Now change your first button label text, then link up with your collection. Same way change your second button label text and link up with your collection. After complete this, then click on the save button to save your changes. Now we will add the category section. So to do this, click on this add section, then add this collection list section. Then click on this collection list and open it. Now change this heading text. Then click this image ratio and select adapt to image. Then the mobile layout will be two columns. Then go back and click this first collection. Then click on this select button to add your collection. After adding your collection, then go back and same way click on the second collection then add your collection here. After adding your all collection, then we'll hide this text. So to do this, click on this collection list, then scroll down a bit and click this custom CSS. Here paste our code to hide this text. This code I will give you in the video description also. After pasting this code, then click on this save button. Now we will create a featured collection section. So to do this, Click on this add section, then add this featured collection section. Then first change this heading text. Then we will click on the select button and link our new arrivals collection to this feature section. Then maximum products to show will be eight. Then enable this make products full width option. Image ratio will be square. Then enable this show second image on hover option. Then quick add will be standard. Also enable this enable swipe on mobile option. After setting everything, then click on the Save button to save your changes. Now we will create an auto-scrolling announcement section. So to do this, click on this Add section, then click on this search bar and search here Marquee, then add this Marquee section. First delete one text from here, then click on this first text, then add your announcement text here, then select the check mark icon from here. Then go back and click on this second text. Then same way add your text and icon here. After complete, then click on save button to save your changes. Now we will create an auto playing video section with text. We first need to upload the video, which video actually we want to auto play. So to do this, click on this content button from the left side, then click on files, then click on upload and upload your video here. After uploading your video, just copy this video link. After copying your video link, then click on the online store. Then click on customize. Now we will add a video section here. So to do this, click on this add section, then click on the search bar and search here video. Then click on the second one video text, then scroll down a bit. Then set the top padding and bottom padding to zero. Then change the subheading text. And here paste the video link that we copied before. Then go back, then click on this image with text, then write your heading text here. 
then go back and click on this button. Then change your button label text here. Then link up your product with this button. After complete, then click on the Save button to save your changes. We previously created a Featured collection section. Now we will duplicate this section and replace only the contents of this section. So to do this, click on this Featured Collection, then click on this three-dot icon, then click Duplicate, then go back. Now we will drag this section to the bottom with the mouse, then click on this Featured Collection. Now we will replace this heading text, then we will add description text here, then we will replace this collection. After replacing this all content, then we will again click on this three-dot icon, then we'll again duplicate this section for another collection. So click on this duplicate, then go back, then click on this duplicated featured collection section. Now we will same way change all the content here. After replacing all content, then click on this save button to save your changes. Now we will add an email signup form section. So to do this, click on this add section, then add this email signup section. Then click on this subscribe to our emails. Then type your heading text here. Then change the heading size. Heading size will be small. Then go back. Then click on the second subheading text. Then replace your description here. Then click on the save button. Now we will add the trust badge section. So to do this, click on this add section. Then click on the search bar and search here trust badge. Then add this trust badge section. Then click on this trust badge. Then scroll down a bit. Then change this section's background color. Then change this trust badge background color. After changing the color, then go back. Then click on add trust badge. Then click on this free shipping text. Then here upload your trust badge icon from your desktop or laptop. Then change your heading text and subheading text. After complete, then click on this three dot icon. Then click duplicate. Then go back. Then click on this duplicated free shipping text. Then same way upload your trust badge icon and change your text here. After completion, then again click on the three dot icon and again click on duplicate. Then go back. Then click on this duplicated quality text. Then same way replace all content. After adding your all trust badge content, then click on this save button to save your changes. Our store design is complete. Now we will preview our store and see how our store looks now. So click on this three dot icon, then click on preview button, and this is our store final look.